What do you mean by the term pointers to an object in C++? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering Community where I make engineering easy for you. So, let us ask ourselves that obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term pointers to an object in C++? Well, let's run out. So, in life, whatever we do, whatever things that happen, the memories get stored inside our brains. So therefore, if you're learning something, so imagine you're learning the concepts of object-oriented programming. So whatever you're learning is stored inside your brain. That is, it is stored inside the memory of your brain. So therefore, when you're studying the topics of object-oriented programming, whatever you study is stored inside your brain and it is stored in a particular portion of your brain. Similarly, in the case of C++ programming, whenever we declare a variable or whenever we declare an object, it will be stored onto the memory of the particular computer. And therefore, this memory will have an address. So therefore, a pointer is simply a variable that is used for the purpose of storing the address of a particular memory location as simple as that guys so therefore a pointer is defined as a variable that is used for the purpose of storing the memory address location of another variable as simple as that so let us see how a pointer can be incorporated into the concepts of classes and objects so let us assume this particular class say class backbench here I have two data members X and Y and here I have a member function Y to display to display these two data members X and Y so this is a typical example of a class so let let us assume this particular class backbench now let us open the main loop now inside the main loop let me declare or create an object of this particular class backbench so backbench obj1 so this obj1 is actually an object of this particular class backbench so now this obj1 will have these two data members that is x and y let me give the value of x and y using the dot operator so obj1 dot x is equal to say 5 and obj1 dot y is equal to 7. So here now inside this particular obj1 the values of x and y are 5 and 7 respectively. So now next what we do is that we now create a pointer of this particular class. A pointer is created using the star operator. So now if we include a star before the name of a particular object that particular object will be declared as a pointer so now let me declare this a star ptr so therefore this particular ptr is now declared as a pointer so now this particular pointer can store the address of any objects from this particular class backbench so now let us assume that i want to store the address of this particular object obj1 in this ptr then what we do is that we will write ptr is equal to and obj1 so this AND states that we have to obtain the address of obj1. So in this step what happens is that the address of obj1 now is stored onto this particular pointer ptr. As simple as that. This thus is simply how we assign the address of a particular object using a pointer. Here we have created a pointer for the class backbench and now onto this particular pointer we are storing the address of this particular pointer of the same class backbench. As simple as that. So now using this particular pointer we can access the data members and the member functions inside this. How is that? Well, let us now call this particular member function that is void display and let us call it using the pointer ptr. So for that what we do is that we write c out. First we have to write the pointer which is ptr and then we have to use this particular operator that is a hyphen and this particular bracket. And after this, we have to specify which data member or member function we are accessing over here. So here we are accessing display. So therefore display. So here what happens is that whatever object's address is stored inside this particular pointer, that object's member function, which is display, will be invoked over here. And therefore here we will get the output as 5 and 7. Because object 1 has the values x and y as 5 and 7. As simple as that. This does is simply what we refer to as a pointer to an object of a particular class. As simple as that guys. 
So here we have learned three things. First is how to create a pointer. A pointer is created using this particular star symbol. If you put a star symbol before any name that is given over here, this is now created as a particular pointer. And now this particular pointer can store the address of another object. And now in order to obtain the address of this particular object, we use the AND symbol over here. And now using the pointer, we can now invoke or call the data members of the member functions of the object whose address is stored. For that we use this particular symbol and while we do this we can actually invoke the member functions or data members of that particular object. So these are three things that we learned today. So this does is basically how we use a pointer towards a particular object of a particular class in C++. As simple as that guys. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as pointers to an object in C++. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.